questions being asked about 20-year-old Nassim Hamid as he challenged a very experienced Italian, Vincenzo Belcastro, for his European bantamweight title. Second round one. So then this is the, the big chance and certainly the big test for the southpaw Nassim Hamid, the man full of confidence in the leopard trunks there, and his seconds are also attired in the same stuff, and a good old pro here in Vincenzo Belcastro, 33. And to be looking 34 any minute. I think that's the first knockdown, isn't it, uh, that, he's, that he's had in his career, Belcastro. He's certainly never been counted out. It was a good shot, Reg. His legs, even after he got up, looked a little bit shaky. That was a lovely shot from Nassim. He's every bit as confident for this one as he was for these six rounders. That's an incredible start. I certainly didn't think he could do that early on. Why not? He did. That's what it's about. 11 on the turn now, 10 stopped. But nowhere near this class of opponent who defeated Britain's Drew Doherty in Scotland, the European Championship defence of. And this is his fourth Championship defence, the Italian. So now we're really going to find out, not the greatest of punches, Paul Castro, but he's a harder than that, where he has been. I don't know if they continue like this. We're putting him in the deck, Reg, with the very first punch of the fight. I mean, that's excellent stuff from Hammy. Now he's gone orthodox for the time being. No, it's changed again. No, nope, I don't know what he is now. I've got no idea at the moment. He just swings around, changes it. Most unpredictable. The thing against Bill Castro, he can afford to take chances, but with Castro, very few stoppages on his record. He's not a big punch. He's very strong. Normally, good aggressive fighter, but not getting a chance to be here. No, he's chasing shadows at the moment. We're all trying to really judge Hamed by going a few rounds. And we haven't really had to see that because the opposition really hasn't given him too much of a test. Well, Castro's going to have to try and set the rhythm here because if he tries to react to Nassim, I don't think he has the reflexes to match him. He's going to have to set the rhythm and try and dictate the pace a little bit. And he keeps saying, I'm, I'm the prince about to be king. Precocious young gentleman, but I tell you what, he's backed up his boast all the time, Jim, isn't he? I'll give him credit. Well, I've never been able to, to judge just how good he is, Reg, because of the standard he's been boxing and he's a no uh, senior amateur career. But as I say, what a start in this one. First punch of the fight, but Cash was on the floor. hardly had any senior contest at all in the amateurs, but he won as much as he could, certainly, uh, Nazim Hamed. Represented England youth captain, all that kind of thing. And last uh, points position was the majority against Dean Pithy, who recently won the senior ABA, so he's always been in good class in the amateurs, but we were, well, just questioning whether he was going to be a great player or not. What a round, eh? And doesn't he enjoy it? didn't come in and bolt the ropes this time. He, he stood there for what seemed ages while the photographers were trained on him. Maybe he'd have tripped over the top rope, and he's done that, actually. I've seen him do that by mistake. But he decided just to climb in on this one. And Brendan Ingle looking in, and let's have a look at that punch now, Jim. Well, perfect start, Reggie. You, know, you couldn't have written a better start for Hamed, although bubbling with confidence. Not that he needed the confidence, but there you are, bang, straight over. And well, Bill Castro got up, you could see his legs were still twitching a little bit. It was a good shot, it wasn't just a little flash knockdown. He led with a southpaw jab and then came right forward with the left hand, got his weight behind it, bang. Bang on the chin. Yeah, he's got a lot of reach, hasn't he, in that? Bit of a calming influence here in Hamed's Thank corner you. now. He's an old pro too, Marco Agostino in uh, Italian's corner. So after this, it'll be, well, unknown territory, really, for Hamed. It's only been this distance once. But the way it's going, he could fight all night, Jim. He's certainly in control. He's hardly been hit with solid punches, anyway. The fact that uh, Bill Castro hasn't managed to put him even under any pressure. He's going to be pressures of days. He's complaining to the referee there, but now seems shoving him again. Yeah, oh, he, he whacks that in, doesn't he? Well, I think he means it a bit this round, too. Well, Castro clinging on there, Reg. Nick. 
actually. Now he's looking very orthodox with a sand hammer. But when he does that, he's very effective. Well, whenever he decides to go to work again, he's doing as he pleases and he's using his power. This has been a hard round for Bill Castro so far. That's a real rip breaker, that left hook to the body. He's, got a, he's done it. We've warned him for pushing again there, Jimmy. He might take a point away there. Rough it up a bit too when needed, have it? Yeah, he is strong. I mean, he has a good, strong pair of legs. He'll probably go into featherweight eventually. And uh, he's a very sturdy, and I, I would reckon a good chin as well. Oh dear, that's uh, trying to do a bit of Sugar Ray Leonard maybe, but I think Charlie Chaplin did just as well. There's been absolutely no weakness that Del Castro could expose. So his only hope is that Nassim, for some reason, runs out of steam, but there's certainly no sign of that either. He hasn't slowed, and he's still not making any mistakes. I hear the corner there quite rightly saying, don't get complacent to have it. Hey, but backing off there, fellow of himself. Solid wax there, Jim. When he stands his ground there, Hamid. Yeah, he's got some natural power. When he moves in with his shots, he really gets good. Those body shots are particularly good. But again, full credit to Bill Castro. It never stops trying. Oh, well, yes, referee saying no, but we don't need all that. Thank you, quite rightly so. Bit too much of that uh, the wrestling touch getting into boxing and the referee warning him about it. Don't blow your nose. Yeah, all right. Give him a mark on you. You must keep it. Give us a drink, Brendan. Right up. Not a mark on you, said Brendan. He's right. Give us a drink. I don't know what he means for him or the boxer. Oh, he does for the boxer. Just a gargle. And the gentleman on the outside there represents the boxing board of control in the corner. Jim? Yeah, well, uh, Hamid set himself a little bit more in that round, whipped some wicked-looking punches and used his power for maybe the first time in the fight. And again, had uh, Bill Crass all over the place. He just lost his foot in there. The body weight too far back, he caught in the ropes, and down he went, but certainly nothing like a knockdown. Second round, round seven. Seventh round. What, we got 6-0 to uh, Hamid, Jim? Yep. Rounds. yep, no problem. He's just doing it exactly as he pleases. He kept saying that what a tough fight it was going to be, but as you say, if you can't catch the, the, the target area, well, there's no point in it. Really, he keeps missing Belgro, Bel Castro, but you can't blame him. It's all credit to Hamid. Well, I'm surprised that he hasn't even been able to put him under any pressure. Hamid is just doing everything when, when, when he pleases and just how he pleases. First time beyond six rounds now, Mohamed. But uh, as Jim Watt said, no sign at all really that's going to be sapping of any stamina because he's not under pressure enough anyway. I think the only chance uh, for Bill Castro to get some results is if he just forgets about Hamed's head and just aims for the chest. If he just fires some straight punches towards the chest, at least he'll be hitting something probably because little hope of him catching that chin cleanly. Yeah, he was setting it, setting himself for it too, Hamid. Wait, where did perfectly bring the come in? Good variety of shots now. It led with an uppercut there, it takes a bit of doing. Breaks a few rules along the way as well, Hamid. You know, pulling and elbowing and... <laughs> 
So he's going to be rough enough when the time comes, that's for sure. saying that, Brendan Ingle, Jim, you pick that up, don't get complacent, he's calling in the corner. And it's quite the opposite, because now he's setting himself a little bit more on his feet and delivering the power in the punches. See, he's marked underneath the eye. I mean, Belcastro caught him with a full-blooded right hand just about a minute ago. Bang on the chin, and it didn't shake him in the slightest. It's the best punch that Belcastro's landed in the whole fight. He's got a warning for dropping the head there. He's marked around the face a bit now, Belcastro, Jim, the left cheek. Yeah, so is Hamid. He's got a little neck under his And Hamid's got a left, yeah. Well, somebody's caught him. There's such a clash of heads down there, I suspect. Well, Hamid's the real go in this round, Reggie, but steady and they'll cash up. If he doesn't manage that, then it's maybe the first little test of character for him. Round eight. Well, he looks as though he wants to step it up again a bit here, Hamid. He just pulls in between punches, Jim. It's the only criticism you could offer at championship level. But as you say, he does it so effectively, he doesn't need to change it. You can see the difference now when he's setting himself for the punches. He's whipping them, and these are good punches there, Hamid's throwing. Now, Cash a very experienced, managed to block the body shots and his elbows. But nevertheless, they're good punches. Castro, look, he just doesn't know what to do with him, Jim. He's waiting, hoping to catch him with a counter shot, but he, he won't lead to him, Hamid, until it suits him. He's, he throws him about as well. He knows yeah, all the old tricks. It's like a cat the way he flies in after the play there, isn't he, Hamid? He's so fast once he thinks he's got him going. Apart from being too quick for Bill Castro, he's a little bit stronger as well, so there's nothing really Bill Castro can offer here. He's just going to stick to his guns and hope for, hopefully go the distance. No signs yet of the Hamid running out of steam. Oh dear, now what's that all about? Oh well, that's, that's what they... They would do that to him in the amateurs, they once did that to him but vaulting over the ropes in the amateurs, warned him. He's a dogged little professional Bill Castro, though, isn't he? And everything going against him, he just sticks with it. Yeah, he is. Trying to, to get some success. He tries to fight with a bit of pride there, Bill Castro, but it's, it's very frustrating. Oh dear, he's shoving the right, pouring with a right hand punch there. Have a quick word with Gary Newbon. He's got some news for us. Yes, Reggie. The Italian corner had been arguing with the, Brit with the British Boxing Board of Control Observer throughout the fight, and two rounds ago, confiscated from the Italian corner was some adrenaline impregnated sponges, and they were much, much stronger than the substances that are allowed. So they are now in the possession of the British Boxing Board of Control. Okay, they uh, have to strictly watch that. I don't quite know what advantages that would have, Jim. I'm sure. Oh, only if he cuts, I suppose, Reg, but uh, he hasn't been cut yet. No, only one in 1,000 uh, is allowed. Can you do me something? 
Round nine. Round nine coming up. I was on the cards, Jim, that this may go 12, but after the first round knockdown when uh, the champion hit the deck, we thought uh, maybe Hamid could take care of it. But, he's, you know, it's a, it's a big up step for him, this is to, to move from preliminaries at the championship with a tried and tested champion. We'll never know, Reg, because if Hamid had gone for a first round knockout, we don't know what he may have scored that because the Belcastro was shaking and he certainly has the power to hurt him. He's shaken him a couple of times since. Breaks all the rules, Hamid, who holds and hits, follows through with the elbow. The referee should be a little bit stricter with him. But augurs well when he goes in with the real hard guys, he's going to be, he's going to be as hard as they are. Well, Castro actually has been 12 rounds 14 times, Jim. about to uh, Naz as they call him around here Jim is he knows how to take his time and take a breather well, I think that's all down to the confidence he's never in any hurry to do anything Well, he got through with a punch there, Bill Castro. That's a change. Didn't count for much. <laughs> that was a good shot, though. Rocked him right to the boots, that one. Stopped him right in his tracks up, yeah. and that's the best punch of the fight so far from Mohammed. That was a scorcher. He's hanging on to Bill Castro. That's a sign of experience. Ten-year pro. I mean, he actually runs in with a punch sometimes, Hamid. Yeah, it's dangerous, actually. All sorts of clashes could happen. <laughs> Looking very weary now, Bill Castle. That punch has knocked a lot of the resistance out of him. Yeah, not the heart, but uh, the physical resistance. Oh, fighting to the last, though. Give, give him full credit there, the champion. I admire him for that. Big round here again for Hamed in the ninth. He's done a bit more work here as well. I didn't get in there very quickly. I would have thought he would have needed as much help as he could get there, but Castro, but it's going to be all casual about it, Rocco Agostino. Vaseline on the hands there, that's what they use around the face a bit, on the back of the hand of the manager, but... I've got the feeling there's not much they can say now, but look out, here he comes and do your best, Jim. Well, that was a beautiful punch. That really stopped him in his tracks. You could see... The legs giving a little quiver straight on to defence. There's nothing else he could do but survive, and he survived well. He will come out and have a go for a half a minute. Then you got to make it. Round 10. Right, round 10. And Brendan Ingle warning uh, Ahmed there that uh, Castro might come out for half a minute and have a go. He seems to, well, he doesn't quite run out of gas, but it's full of frustration at the moment, the defending champion. Fourth defence, and he looks like blowing it. So he's looking very hesitant now, El Castro. He's, he's actually he's always terrified to lead off. No confidence that what he, what he throws is going to land. The eighth game, actually, or the ninth. Uh, Hamid could have won that by a 10-8 margin, couldn't he? Yeah, well, every round he's been doing exactly as he pleases. Finish, and the Austrian judge is here to go with the referee who does score in a European Championship, and not in world. 
I mean, we said we would have been impressed if he beat Bill Castro. I mean, he's totally outclassed him, if you like. Bill Castro just can't get him pinned down at all. Through about five punches there, Bob Castro. None of them landed, Jim. Hit the air. <laughs> oh, that's a shot. That, that left hand uh, well, uppercut, then he whacks him around the ribs with it. Now that now the right hand leaves. He's certainly either hand he can whack. But he's shoving the game now. You can even see the strength that Hamid has up close, I and mean, he's pushing this little fellow around. So, you know, sometimes Jim, when he when he decides he wants to punch, he gets out of the blocks like Christie, doesn't he? He flies out. There. I've never seen anybody do that. Now he's weighing the situation up now. What shall I come at you with now, Hamid saying? Coming up to the end of the tenth. Best punches and almost on the belt. But, but don't this time now. Don't move all over the place. Just pick your feet. Pick your feet. And them rolls. Some people isn't talking to you. Do something, Danny. No, you're not here. But turn the other way. Have a look at that. Just come up, girl. The best two punches of the, of the round, Jim. Look, there it goes. That was a beautiful punch, yeah. I mean, not too many bantamweights in Europe would take those shots still standing. It's uh, just lets us, it reminds us how tough this little fellow is. What you're doing with him. Come on. Do you understand? Say it's up. Round 11. 11th round coming up of this uh, European Bandaweight Championship. And Nassim, Prince Nassim Hamad. Says on his shorts to be king. There it is. He's certainly got this one well under control. Oh. Now this fellow's never been stopped, and he's admitting that one. He didn't complain about that. He, he, he thought he'd been shoved a few times, but he knows he got tagged there at the start of the 11th. Now, if he's the first to stop Bel Castro, that's a good performance. But there, as you see, get, that's pity he gets untidy at the finish like that. If we're moving into championship class. Well, he just shaped up orthodox Reg and led with a, a straight right hand, banging the chin. As I say, very few European bantamweights will still be standing there. What a gutsy guy, Bill Castro. He knew he knew he was in trouble there. Almost acknowledged it to the referee. So a minute gone in the 11th. The referee should be a bit stricter the way Hamed's pushing him up. I mean, he's just grabbing and shoving him. There he's doing it again. Yep, yep they are, Jim. He, he heard you there. But he's been doing a little bit too much of that. I think the local crowd, the bias there, is they're doing the referee, not Hamid. He looks down, as you were saying earlier, Jim, down at the feet, then the gloves, then the eyes. He's the most unusual boxer I've seen. Do you think he's saying, Chris Eubank, eat your heart out with all this act that he's doing here? Well, they do it at this level so early in his career, it's not bad, Reg. <laughs> it's 
considering it's the first time he's even been beyond six rounds, it's a, quite a performance against a well-tested man. We know the strength of him, beating three British fighters. Drew Doherty, Ronnie Carroll and Billy Hardy. Jim, he's let him off the hook a bit there. Looks like he had a chance to stop him. Would have been a real good performance. He's still got time to do it. Notice that again, Reds. It's as though he's not interested. I mean, in the first couple of rounds, it's as though he wanted that the fight to last longer so he could show up a bit more. No, I think we've got to accept now, Jim. That's his style, and that's, that's, that's how it's going to happen. Oh, well, a little bit of come dancing we've got now. Nicks below the left eye there, kept that under control, it's not serious. Uh, border control inspector there, make sure there's nothing illegal going on, nobody slipping the horseshoes in the, in the gloves for luck. Have another look, Jim. You see, he shaped up orthodox, looked for the, the target and just stepped in with a straight, straight right cross, bang, right under the chin, a beauty. He was pleased with himself too, don't blame him. He thought he'd got him there, Ahmed. Again, uh, full credit to Bocasio's toughness, but he just grabbed and, and pulled Ahmed down with him then. Second up, 12th and last round. Final round then. Uh, a bit of a victory dance already there with Nazim Ahmed. And uh, referee Bob Lowe just to Belgium is been sweating pretty heavily here, having to work these very fast movers. I think a bit of pausing between punches at times, perhaps promising a little bit more than he produced, but when he did produce some home, he looked the business. Good gutsy guy, the Italian too, 33 years old. But it looks as though the, the fourth defence now will be his final one for Castro, and there's something sensational happens here, but he's not known for his punching power anyway, the Italian. Oh, well, no, he's just having a little bit of doing the business there. Not necessary, Jim, maybe, uh, maybe I'm old-fashioned, what do you think? No, he's doing what he likes, Reg, he's entertained this for 11 rounds, so let him do what he likes. Oh, well, waving to his mates in the back of the arena, maybe. Well, he's saying real professional now, Brendan Ingalls. So maybe he agrees with me. I can hear him calling that out in the corner. But he looks so much better, Jim, when he wants to do the business properly. Yeah, well, he's shown plenty of edge in the first 11 rounds, and I think he'll settle down in the last uh, minute or so in this round. Put out a clinch run, a perfect performance. You know, you're going to deal with other champions. One of the best champions around at any weight, Orlando Canizale, is a Texan. He can fight, as we know. And if he wants to move into that company, and certainly American promoter Don King's already showing a bit of interest in him with his tie-up with uh, Frank Warren, the promoter who's right in the centre of the picture in the ring there, and calling out to him. See, he's had his little lark about, now he's getting some decent punches in. Certainly got a few bruises of battle now, the Paul Castro. One of those hit me if you can finish. Well, you either love it or loathe it, Jim. You've got to make up your mind with this fella. I don't like to see boxers uh, than neither do I. I can do with it. I think he's going to open the score a little bit now. Yeah. Dancing and bobbing about is okay, but you don't want to show a bit of respect to a child. Try to degrade yeah. another fella. No, yeah. I don't like that. I don't think he'd like anybody doing it to him, Jim, if he was under, under power, under pressure on him. No, I think there's nothing else, but Bocasio deserves respect. We should show him some. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I really could do without this. Don't ring us, we'll ring you. So these 
Brendan Ingalls turned him over to the other corner to shake hands with the Italian. There's a formality of a verdict from the judge, two judges and the referee here. And we have a unanimous decision. Judge Walter Scholl scores the contest 119-110. And he lost Judge one round Penti there. Judge Rotinen scores the contest 120 to 107. Didn't Referee lose a round Bob on that one. scores the contest 120 to 109. All there it is. Three can't in win it bigger than that. Of the new bantamweight champion. He's different, OK. A flawless performance. Duke McKenzie, give us the pro's view of the Prince. Uh, I would say...